Hey friends, it is Tanya, Thrifty Treasures, and today I am gonna be um, running some errands. I'm gonna go by Goodwill real quick, and then I'm gonna be going out to my antique booth, and I thought it would be fun to do a ride along. I'll take you guys with me and show you what kind of stuff I'm uh, bringing out to the booth today. Okay, so I just left Goodwill. I did buy that food dog. I'll show you guys a close-up of it here in a little bit. But my husband called and told me about a garage sale uh, that's going on right now. Um, and the garage sales have been few and far in between lately with all the uh, cold weather we've been having. It's just garage sales kind of slow down here for, you know, December and January. Uh, so I'm excited to see a garage sale sign. Yay! All right, so I'll try and film a little bit while I'm there. Okay. 
okay, I didn't really see anything at that garage sale, really. They just had a whole bunch of clothes and they did have some jewelry, but what they were asking for is like 20 and 30 bucks. So yeah, I didn't buy anything there. But um, now I'm gonna go to another little thrift shop. Um, I have recently lost about 15 pounds, yay me. Uh, so I want to run in there and see if they have uh, some jeans that I can get for pretty cheap. Um, so I can have some that fit me good. And then I'm going to go get my nails done. I've had this awesome eggplant color on for about a month now. I really love it. I'm considering getting it again. But um, with Valentine's coming up next month, I'm thinking maybe a pink or a red. What do you guys think? <laughs> so... Um, yeah, and then eventually I'm gonna make it to my antique booth today, I swear, <laughs> at some point. And I still gotta go back by the house and pick up all my stuff. Hmm, what to do? Yeah, or black. So, oh my goodness, that just happened. <laughs> so it's a really neat, kind of modern, sleek looking sofa table. And it's going to um, back up to the back of my couch. My husband's gonna kill me. We already have one, but it's a lot smaller than that. And this one is a lot bigger, so I like it a lot better. It was only $35, 37 with tax. So um, yeah, a nice man inside the store helped me get it in the car. So I was really thankful for that. But now I got to get it home and uh, get it in by myself and that's going to be a challenge because it's pretty heavy. It seems like really good quality too. So yeah, I'm not very focused. I did not buy any jeans and um, it was the first thing I saw when I walked in and um, I wanted to get it and I asked if there was anyone to help me get it in the car and uh, she said we didn't have anyone here right now to help and that's when the customer volunteered to help me and I didn't want to, you know, waste his time while I'm shopping so I just went ahead and bought it and left and he helped me so yeah no jeans today so um, now I am off to my nail appointment <laughs> okay so um, I did get my nails done I decided to go with a pinky color but it looks more red anyway really like it excited about that and here are some items I'm taking out to my booth so I bought this urn I paid uh, $20 for it at uh, Goodwill and I had it up on our mantle and my husband was like what is that on there you know like what if somebody's a dead person's ashes were in there <laughs> so um, yeah I guess I'm not gonna be keeping that it's gonna go to the booth and I put uh, $59.99 on that and then I got this super cute little monster cookie jar for $2.99 and I put $20 on it and here's like a tiki mug cup um, it's from Trader Dicks, and it looks like uh, a girl on a surfboard. So we got that. I think I paid a dollar for this, but $14.99. And here's one of those cloisonnet vases. It's brass on the inside. Um, I think I paid $2.99 for this, and I put uh, $12.99 on there. And here is a Linux uh, Christmas Santa Claus cookie jar. So, and this was, I think I paid $5.99 for this and I put $39.99 on it.
So I just finished up at my antique uh, booth. I haven't really made a lot of money. It's already like January the 25th, I think today is. And um, I've only made like $70. But that's not too bad considering I haven't brought any new inventory up since we had that big 50% off sale last month. Um, I've just been so busy, I've not had the time to make it out there. So finally went out there today, dropped some stuff off. Um, and I bought a couple things while I was there too. I'll show you whenever I stop. But I wanted to invite you guys to come and join um, our Facebook group. It's called Antique Booth Talk. And um, I run that group with Jen the Pudgy Picker and Tammy from Tam's Place. The three of us uh, run antique booths and we have a show on YouTube. And that is the first Wednesday of every month. And it is a rotating show. So be sure to check the uh, Facebook group to see whose channel it will be on. So for February, it's going to be on Jen's channel. And we're gonna be talking about, um, for that episode, we are going to be talking about stuff that's homemade or things that we kind of put together ourselves uh, that we sell in our antique booths. And so um, if you guys have would like to share what you guys are doing in your booth, I would love to hear it. Uh, you know, leave me a comment down in the uh, comments down below and let me know. And um, as soon as I stop here, I'm going to show you guys everything I got at the um, antique mall. And also I stopped at a Goodwill on the way out there and show you what I got. Okay, finally stopped. Okay, so I want to show you real quick everything I got at that Goodwill. So um, I saw this Starbucks mug. It was, uh, it was $2.99. I thought it was $9.99, but oh well. Um, and it's of New York. And then let's see, see, it says New York City. And I saw that one similar like it that was used, sold for about $45. So, um, you know, for three bucks, I'll take a chance on that. It says it's from 2012. So that's cool. And then I've never heard of ham spear. This is one of those vintage uh, thermo serve, like mugs, not mugs, but I don't know what you call these things, like beer tumblers, I'm not sure. So it's ham spear and it was 79 cents. And that'll probably go in my antique booth. And then for the house, uh, for us, I picked up some of these Wamsuda, I'm not sure if I'm saying that right, two king pillowcases, uh, 360 thread count, 100% Egyptian cotton. So you can never have too many pillowcases. And let's see what else. Oh, for the first time ever, I found a jewelry jar there. <laughs> so um, it was $20. So I'll be breaking into this uh, probably one day next week and we'll see what's inside there. And then at the antique mall, I got a couple things. After I drop off all my new stuff, I like to walk around if I have time and see if I find anything that sparks my fancy. So I got another little um, Talavera. It's Mexican pottery, a little Chihuahua. So I already have one of these. I picked up at a garage sale for five dollars. Um, it's a little bit bigger than this one, but this one was so cute. He was only four bucks, so I thought I'd get home. And... Sorry about this rattling. I got this. They had this labeled as like, see it's got a food dog on there. And it's almost like jade-like material. I'm not sure what it's made of. But I thought it was really cool, and they had it uh, labeled as a pencil holder. So I'm going to be keeping that for me and using it. I love the color green. It's one of my favorite colors. So, and I love all the food dog stuff. And speaking of food dogs, <laughs> so when I get home, I need to be sure and um, show you guys my uh, food dog that I bought this morning. Show you guys up close. It's really big. I would like to keep it, but something tells me that when Madeline comes home from school, she's going to be like, Mommy, that thing scares me. So, uh, yeah, I probably want to end up keeping it. And I think she'll say that because I've bought food dogs before, and she always says that. She don't like food, dog, food dogs, but I think they're really cool. I like them. Um, and I was also going to say, sometimes, like, whenever I go to the antique mall, when I'm done, you know, with my booth and I like to walk around, I like to find something uh, that I feel like is a good deal that I can flip on eBay. It's kind of like a mental, little mental challenge for me to see if I can do it or not. And I've definitely done it in the past. I remember I bought, um, I don't remember the brand right off, right off the top of my head, but it was um, 
a green, I don't know, maybe you guys might remember, a green like pottery, like little mini vase and it was shaped like a fish. And I paid $8 for it and I sold it for, I think $49, $49 on eBay. So that was fun. So um, last time we were out back in December, I bought this like plastic, this vintage plastic lion, uh, like a piggy bank, a coin bank. And so he was, he was on sale and I think I paid $8 for him too. So I'll show you that whenever I get home. I need to get it listed on eBay, take pictures, but it was so cute. I thought I would try my hand at uh, flipping it on eBay. So when I get home, I'll show you those two things and I'll close out this video. Okay, so here's the food dog I picked up this morning. He was $14.99 and he's really pretty big. So, love him real cute. I'm not sure what he's made out of though. Looks like he had a little hole there in the bottom. I don't know, if you, if you know what that's made of, please let me know in the comments down below. And then this is the lion I was telling y'all about. And I'm pretty sure I can get about 40 for him on eBay. The only thing is, is he does have a little dent. I'm not sure if that could be popped out or not. That's where you put the coins in. And then that is the bottom. So thanks so much for watching, you guys. Please uh, like the video, share it with your friends, and subscribe if you haven't already. And we will catch you in the next one. Hope everyone has a great weekend. Bye.